Hey, what's going on, guys? SS Magical here, Tion Eternal. Uh, today, I'm going to show you how to install King Kang ROM by Rohan <clears throat> for the uh, HTC One XL, or in America, the One X. Um, this is uh, of a One X with a 220 uh, firmware, the um, 1.14H boot, which uh, did not allow you to flash kernels in recovery, so we'll use fast boot for that. Um, I created a little a really easy tool to use that will let you to um, basically drop in the boot image from any ROM into a folder. You click the run file with your phone plugged into the computer and it flashes the boot image to your phone so you don't have to type any files or download any extra files like um, Android, uh, ADB and all that stuff like that. So you don't need to install this kind of file so make it real easy for you. Alright, so first thing you want to do is go to XDA. I'll have a link under this video. And <clears throat> we want to download the King Kang version here. All right, where's his download link at? Here it is. All right, so we're gonna download the ROM, and we're gonna save this to the desktop. And this is build one, so uh, I'm gonna be reviewing this too. Check it out. It looks like a really nice ROM. He, he what he did was he uh, took AOKP, CM10, and Pen Android, and kind of combined them all in one ROM. So I'm really curious to see how this works. Um, <clears throat> so you're gonna do is download the ROM, and you're gonna download the G apps. You can get the latest G apps for CM10, okay? So you can get those. And uh, while this is downloading, what you can also do is download the Boot Flasher, which I have a link on this video as well. Uh, that's a really small download, it's a couple kilobytes maybe. It's run under a meg. So I'll go ahead and download that and save it to your desktop. Alright, so we have the files downloaded. We have the uh, King Kane downloaded and the GApps downloaded. So we're going to go ahead and transfer them to the uh, phone storage. So make sure you uh, go on your phone and you go ahead and make sure you have it set to disk drive. And then right click the files if you're in Windows, hit send to, and then select the, your device. And go ahead and let them copy. Okay, so we have the files on the phone. So what we're going to do now is go into recovery. Um, but when you're on stock, you don't have the option for recovery. You need to have restart power off in airplane mode. So what we're going to do is this. Uh, after you, un you unmount your phone storage from the computer, you're going to hold the power button until the phone starts flashing. and hold the volume down and power button at the same time. Sometimes it'll take a couple tries to get in, uh, so you don't always go in right away, but hopefully it does this time. Oh, there it goes. So we're in bootloader. So what you want to do is, uh, I'm actually locked right now, so I have to unlock it real fast, but um, what you want to do is you want to go into recovery from here, and then it's going to go into uh, TWRP, and we'll go ahead and install stuff from there. So let me go ahead and lock my bootloader, I'll be right back. Alright, so we have the, the ROM downloaded and we have it in recovery, we're in recovery right now. And we have it on the phone storage. So what you're going to do first here is you're going to go to backup and you're going to set backup name and name the ROM you're backing up. It would rather be stock, whatever. And then go ahead and swipe to back it up. After that's done, go into wipe, wipe your catch, wipe your Delvet catch, do a factory reset. This wipes your catch again, of course, but uh, it also wipes data and stuff like that, so you don't have to do that. I always wipe catch out of, you know, uh, from doing it so long. Um, then you wipe system. And that is it. So after that, what you're going to do is go to install, find the ROM you downloaded. Okay, here's your King Kang. Go ahead and install that. And let that install. Alright, ROM's done installing. Now we're going to install the G apps. And by the way, um, if you wanted to uh, do both at the same time, you could hit add more zips and it would install, it would install one after the other. I forgot to do it, so I'm doing it this way. Once, once the GS is installed, we are going to reboot into Fastboot and we are going to use the one click uh, boot image flasher and uh, then reboot the ROM. So hit reboot and what you can do is go into bootloader and then once you're in bootloader, well, while the phone's going to bootloader, go ahead and plug in your phone. 
<clears throat> now on the computer, I downloaded the um, where's it go? The one-click um, build installer. I made this script uh, a few months ago, and uh, but I, re I just redid the script the other day, so it's a little easier. So what you're going to do is open the ROM you're installing, which in this case is King Kang. Get the boot image in there and drag it into this folder after you extract it, okay? Now this only applies to you people that have the 1.14H boot uh, or the 220 update. Uh, if you have anything older than that, then you shouldn't need this because it usually flashes the boot image right into the ROM, I mean right into the phone. But if you don't have that, then yeah, you're going to need this. So, um, phone's in fast boot now, as you can see here. So what I'm going to do is hit the ROM me. You know, just read the instruction real quick and hit OK to continue. And then look at the phone. And that's it. And we are done. So go ahead and go to the bootloader. And <clears throat> I'm sorry. While well, you're in fast boot, not bootloader, just go ahead and hit reboot. And wait for the phone to boot up. All right, here we go. So let's go ahead and set up. Yes. There's a there's your a Wi-Fi works right off the boot. Let's go ahead and set up one of these Wi-Fi networks real quick. Okay. <clears throat> now as you can see, we have 4G right on boot right there. Let's see, focus. Yeah, see the 4G icon going. So it does have LTE working. Um, don't want to name my phone. And finish. And you have the option to choose two launchers. You got your stock launcher, you have Nova launcher. I'm gonna go ahead and use stock for now because I don't know what it looks like. All right, and um, all right, so that's the ROM installation. Um, I'll come back with a full review on this after I use it for a couple days, like I usually do, and let you know how it runs, uh, any bugs I found, and so on and so forth. All right, so that's the um, this thing called oh, King Kang. Yeah, this is a King Kang ROM by Rohan, and uh, well, let's take a look. Um, it'll give it a few days, and we'll give come back to it. All right, so if this video helped you any. Um, Feel free to leave a comment in the bottom, subscribe, like us on uh, Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and ask Google+. Thank you for watching.